Welcome to another lesson that is part of the TI-30XB student course. In this lesson, we introduce trigonometry. Let's start by considering a right angled triangle, where one of the angles is 30 degrees. We can measure the length of the side opposite this angle. And the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is twice as long as the opposite side. Or conversely, the opposite side is half the length of the hypotenuse. If we enlarge the right angled triangle, whilst maintaining this 30 degree angle, the ratio between the opposite side and the hypotenuse remains constant. If we change the angle, the ratio changes. We could save the angles and the ratios and create a table. Now we can use the table to make predictions for angles and ratios that we haven't measured. So if we have a triangle where the angle is say 25 degrees, we can estimate the ratio using the table to be approximately 0.4. That means if the hypotenuse measured, let's say, 10 centimetres, then the opposite side would be approximately 4 centimetres. The TI-30XB allows us to compute these measurements with much more accuracy. The ratio between the opposite side and the hypotenuse is called sine. If we enter sine 25 degrees, we see the ratio is approximately 0.4226. So, our estimate was reasonable, but the calculator provides a much more accurate result. Now, if we know the ratio, we could look up the table backwards. Suppose we know the ratio to be 0.6. According to the table, the angle would be close to 40 degrees. To do this backwards lookup on the calculator, we use the second function key to access inverse sine. Now we're ready to explore some triangles. In the right angle triangle shown, we know the opposite side is 5 cm, and the hypotenuse is 7 cm. This means the ratio opposite divided by hypotenuse is equal to approximately 0.714. We would like to know the angle, which is just like looking up the table backwards. So we press second and select sine or inverse sine. That gives us an angle of 45.58 degrees. This calculation can be done in a single line, simply inverse sine of 5 over 7. To return the angle as degrees, minutes and seconds, press the second function key and notice under the probability menu we can access angle and select DMS. So the angle in our triangle is 45 degrees and 35 minutes. What if we know the angle let's say 60 degrees, and the hypotenuse 10 centimetres, and we want to work out the length of the opposite side. We can calculate the sine ratio for 60 degrees. And the calculator gives us a third. We can approximate this using the answer toggle key, and see the ratio is approximately 0.866. So the opposite side would be 86.6% of the length of the hypotenuse, so 8.66 centimetres. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching.